So let's talk in a little bit more detail about continuous data protection. In San Symphony V, continuous data protection means not a series of snapshots closely spaced in time. It is true continuous data protection. Every change to a disk is time stamped and logged in the San Symphony V virtualization layer. And you can think about this as providing a copy of the disk as it existed after each write is complete. We don't, we don't have any gaps between the recording. It is a continuous recording of everything that has changed on a disk. And when you want to get back to a certain point in time, you're not have, you don't have to worry about, well, the place I want to get back to is right in the gap between a couple of images that have been recorded in Symphony V. Because again, we don't do closely spaced snapshots. You can pick any one of the right operations in the sequence of time. And you can pick that, decide that's the one that you want to base your recovery on, and you're up and running. San Symphony V continuous data protection is something that sounds very technically sophisticated, and it is. And it's a shame, really, that it doesn't look more complicated in the GUI. Really, it's just a matter of checking a box, and now you have continuous data protection on a virtual disk. It's, again, a case of the software doing the heavy lifting for you. It takes care of all the details, where to store the log, how, how much data to maintain in the log. It's a lot easier to deal with than more scripting intensive and, and technically uh, sophisticated, geeky kinds of implementations of continuous data protection. And getting an image out of a continuous data protection log is also very simple. You simply open up a wizard, you select a point in time, and you say, create. And it is done instantly. It's virtually available immediately. And this can be given to another server. You can inspect what's on it. You can decide that's where I want to base my recovery. No, I think I need to pick another one. And just as easily as you created it, you can get rid of it and pick another point in time. So it's very easy to fish for the version of the virtual disk that you need.